this is an article that I want to read with you guys here. I read it earlier today, and uh, I thought this was very cool. And it's about Argentina and how they're going to tax their uh, tax their wealthy. So there we go. So here it is. Argentina imposes new tax on the wealthiest. Uh, a a one-off tax on Argentina's richest people comes into effect to help pay for medical supplies and relief for businesses struggling due to COVID-19. Those with assets of more than 200 million pesos, which roughly translates to $2.3 million or 1.67 million pounds, uh, will have to pay about 3% on assets declared within the, co- with, within the country and over 5% of assets held abroad. Uh, it will apply to around 12,000 people. The government hopes to raise around $3 billion. Uh, this money will also help fund scholarships and social aid. Senators passed the one-off levy dubbed the millionaire's tax by 42 votes uh, to 26 in December. The measure uh, brought in by center-left President Alberto Fernandez has been criticized by the opposition, uh, which described it as confiscatory. Oh, uh, they have also been concerns raised by Argentine rural society that a tax could be made permanent. But the country has been badly hit by the pandemic, which has deepened already high rates of poverty. Almost 40 percent of the country's population lives under the poverty line, while unemployment rate sits at an 11 percent. Uh, Oxfam's annual report on economic inequality said Argentina Uh, showing ways towards progressive taxation of the rich as a key to an equitable recovery from the current crisis. A tax on the excess profits earned by corporations during the coronavirus pandemic could generate $104 billion, enough to provide unemployment protection for all workers and financial support for all children, elderly uh, people in the poorest countries, the report stated. Argentina has almost 2 million confirmed cases and more than 47,000 deaths from the virus, which is still less than the United States of America, by the way, uh, where I believe at a half a million death. So they have, it seems like they're, they have uh, a lot of confirmed cases, but less deaths, despite the fact that they have a lot of this problem. Uh, So let's break this thing down. They're looking at uh, $2.3 million at about 3% uh, on assets within the country, 5% assets, declared outside so let's do okay mind if we do let's do a little bit of math maybe uh what is three percent of 2.3 oh wait two million oh what my calculator is not functioning on my phone sorry uh it's 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 a significant chunk of change right even if it is three percent of 2.3 million dollars uh, or five percent of two point three million dollars. Uh, that's a hundred, or that's twelve thousand people. That's a that's a that's not a small chunk of change here. That's a good amount of money. Uh, and look what they're going to try to use it for: medical supplies, relief for businesses struggling due to COVID. If Amazon paid that. I don't think there would have been people on the streets going, you got to open up our businesses because they would have the relief that they needed. It's also fun scholarships and social aid. So they're taking care of their people. And this isn't even a progressive socialist fucking president. This guy's a center left, center left president, which arguably um, is, is what people say about the Democratic Party. This could very, very easily be done in our country. Very, very easily. It won't be because most of the corporations are in the, uh, uh, you know, are funding both parties in order to keep them taxless. Uh, Politicians are enriching themselves rather than, you know, even if it was like, okay, fine. Uh, cor- if, take the, take the money from the corporations. Take the money from Jeff Bezos to write legislation to make them tax free. But all that money should go back to the public. There you go, circumventing that taxation, right? 
the the right is calling it confis confiscatory paying your taxes wait a minute if, if it's if it's if it's confiscation for the rich it should be confiscation for the poor too right so i guess the poor don't have to pay their taxes then right 40% of the country lives under the pop, uh, poverty line, but they have to pay their f fair share of taxes, don't they? Why don't the rich? It's a bunk rule. Now, this is a one-time tax. They are talking about uh, the Argentine Rural Society says that the taxes could be made permanent. Uh, will they? It's doubtful. I feel like they're going to use it for this. Um uh, Again, I think the scary part about it is going to be that people are going to have to fight for this to become permanent. That if this legitimately helps, and I bet that it will, if, especially if it's pumping $3 billion into uh, into the society for the working class here, this this should be permanent. Because it'll pull people out of the poverty line. It'll help innovation. It'll help small businesses grow. And doesn't capitalism always talk about healthy competition, right? Competition is good. Well, great. Then the small businesses can compete with the corporations too. And isn't that a good thing? Aren't, isn't that what they're saying is a good thing? This video um, shows like how people are kind of taking care of each other in, in Argentina. I'll kind of play a little part of it. Uh, it's like they're... Look! Look at the the the. This is a car factory, and you know they're not making cars in in uh, at these factories anymore. But again, who's buying new cars, right? And it is sad that these workers can't earn a living. But if there's money flooded in by taxing the rich, they can earn unemployment insurance because their factories are shut down. Because we don't need to make cars right now. We didn't need to make uh, vehicles. You can just take care of these people. Uh, I'm going to fast forward it to to here. This is like a, a small community food bank of just people that are just taking care of each other in the communities. I know I, I know a couple of friends of mine that were doing this over the summer, uh, you know, and we try to do that with our, with our neighbors is if we have like an excess of food, we go and and give give folks food and and, and they've done the same for us, you know. But this is how a government should operate too, right? A government should operate with with this level of compassion, the same level of compassion that these folks have shown here. There's no reason for it. There's no reason for it. We can very easily tax the rich in this country, and we can easily take care of all of all of the things. And the thing is, you can even start with it being one time, but the reason why they don't do it at all is even if we try it one time and see that it works, then everybody's going to be like, well, they should fucking do this all the time. That's the same reason why they don't do Medicare for all or UBI, because they'll go, well, if if the country's not falling apart during a pandemic with the UBI and Medicare for all, then why don't we have it all the time and the country's doing great? Wouldn't it just help the country do even better? And it would. But the corporations would not be doing so well. And a lot of people are like, oh, well, if the, uh, you know, think about all the people that would lose their jobs with the insurance company. You don't think that there's other jobs that those folks could do. Maybe they could get a government job. Maybe some of those folks are, uh, you know, geniuses at computer engineering and they can figure out how to streamline uh, ensuring, you know, you, you're, you're, you're covered by the government. So that government websites don't have to be stuck in the 1980s when it comes to uh, figuring shit out online. All those people could f pursue whatever they wanted to. One of the ways you could do that is by taxing the rich. Holly points out Eisenhower had a 90% tax. Everyone survived. They sure did. Eisenhower, uh, somebody I, you know, I don't wholeheartedly agree with all the time, but he taxed the rich at 90%. Uh, attacks the corporations at 90%. Uh, and he also warned us about the military industrial complex in his uh, farewell speech. First president to, to really address the military industrial complex. Uh, and he warned us about what it was, right? But again, you're, you're right. He taxed corporations at 90% and we're all doing okay. Pop over to the, the rock fins here. 
Uh, Argentina was built on silver mining uh, with kids at one time. Uh, everything is confiscatory for the rich. Uh, Zozovic says that. Uh, you know, I, I agree. It, it, this is the thing is it's it's sort of this it's sort of a difficult double standard, right? Because you're right. It, it was built on silver mining, probably a kids with one time, but America used child labor at one time too. Um, and, and socialists in the labor movement across the world fought against that sort of stuff and, and got kids out of the mines. They got kids out of the factories. Um, and, uh, they, they put age restrictions down. They put the weekend and all that sort of stuff down. Uh, and, and is lithium, I mean, Bolivia, Bolivia mines lithium. Is that awesome? Eh, probably not. It's not great. Uh, Ecuador and uh, uh, you know Venezuela, they fund a lot of their social programs through um, oil because they they have oil. They nationalize their oil. Is it great in terms of taking care of their people? It's helped, but in terms of environmentalism, it's not so great. Um, you know, in countries like this, the 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 indigenous and the uh, environmental left. Uh, often push back and they clash heads with uh, socialists and, and you know, very lefty leaders. This goes back to that earlier statement I said, is there a way that we can figure out how to how to make sustainable uh, and renewable sources of energy? Absolutely. It just we just need the uh, we just need to give that um, give those ideas a chance to flourish. So, you know. I, I, I do I, I agree with you. It's built on silver mining. Kind of sucks, but hopefully that silver mining, you know, now is giving back to the people. Just like nationalizing the oil in Venezuela and Ecuador is giving back to the people, right? Um, that level is the incrementalism, but I'll I tend to take it because it's like, all right, at least fucking people are good. Same thing with Alaska. Do I wish that their universal basic income wasn't based in in uh, allowing uh, oil companies to drill in their in their state? Yeah, it sucks that it, that that has to be the way it is. But but through that though, it's proving that those systems and um, those ideas do work. Uh, yeah. Thank you so much for checking out this video. If you enjoyed this content, uh, please make sure that you hit the like button, hit the share button, and make sure you're subscribed to my channel, whether it's on Rockfin, YouTube, or Facebook. Especially Facebook and YouTube, they often uncensor pe uh, un unsubscribe people and they censor this content. So if you want to keep up to date, make sure you're subscribed. Hit that bell button so you get notifications of when I'm putting up new videos and when I am going live. I usually go live uh, on uh, Fridays and on Mondays. Uh, and if you want more information about a, a bunch of the other stuff that I do... Uh, whether it's my Forkful of Noodles podcast, the Taboo Table Talk interview podcast, or the Road Reflections live streams, uh, make sure you go to my website, krishmohanhaha.com. It's K-R-I-S-H-M-O-H-A-N-H-A-H-A.com. There you'll find past episodes of, uh, of various shows that I, uh, that I do, as well as information about when I'll be performing live virtual comedy shows the forkful of noodles live virtual comedy shows uh the dates and tickets will be available directly on my website but if you're also on financial stable ground you can help contribute to the show financially by making a one-time donation or becoming a sustaining member which gets you free tickets and bonus content and go to krishmohanhaha.com slash donate to to make any kind of financial contributions but if you can't it's not a necessity most of my stuff is is available for free and for everybody to enjoy. So again, go to krishmohanhaha.com. It's K-R-I-S-H-M-O-H-A-N-H-A-H-A. -H 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 -A, and I hope to see you at the next video.